What is your experience with cloud computing platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud? I have experience working with all three major cloud computing platforms, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, and am familiar with their respective services and tools. What is Infrastructure as Code, IAC, and how have you used it to automate cloud infrastructure deployment? Infrastructure as Code, IAC, is the practice of using code to automate the creation and management of infrastructure. I have used tools like Terraform and CloudFormation to create and deploy infrastructure as code, making it easier to manage and scale cloud resources. How do you implement security best practices in a cloud environment, including identity and access management, IAM, and network security? I implement security best practices in a cloud environment by using tools like AWS IAM or Azure Active Directory to manage access and permissions and by configuring network security groups and firewalls to control traffic flow. How do you monitor and optimize cloud infrastructure performance and cost, including using tools like CloudWatch, Azure Monitor, or StackDriver? I monitor and optimize cloud infrastructure performance and cost by using tools like CloudWatch, Azure Monitor, or StackDriver to gather performance metrics and identify areas for optimization. I also regularly review and adjust resource utilization and configuration to keep costs under control. How do you design and implement high availability and disaster recovery solutions in a cloud environment? I design and implement high availability and disaster recovery solutions in a cloud environment by using services like AWS Elastic Load Balancing and Azure Traffic Manager to distribute traffic across multiple instances and by configuring backup and replication of critical data and resources. How do you ensure compliance with industry regulations like HIPAA or GDPR in a cloud environment? I ensure compliance with industry regulations like HIPAA or GDPR in a cloud environment by using tools and services that are compliant with the regulations and by following best practices for data encryption, access control, and auditing. How do you manage cloud storage, including object storage, file storage, and block storage? Cloud storage can be managed using various tools and services provided by cloud providers like AWS S3 or Azure Blob Storage. Object storage is used for unstructured data, file storage for file sharing, and block storage for structured data like databases. How do you implement serverless architecture using cloud functions like AWS Lambda or Azure Functions? Serverless architecture can be implemented by breaking down applications into smaller functions and deploying them on cloud function services like AWS Lambda or Azure Functions. This allows for automatic scaling and cost optimization. How do you migrate legacy applications to the cloud, including lift and shift and refactoring approaches? Legacy applications can be migrated to the cloud using lift and shift approach where the application is moved as is to the cloud infrastructure or refactoring approach where the application is rebuilt for the cloud environment. How do you implement DevOps practices in a cloud environment, including continuous integration and deployment, CICD, pipelines? DevOps practices can be implemented in a cloud environment by setting up CI CD pipelines using tools like Jenkins, Travis CI or AWS Code Pipeline. This allows for continuous integration, testing and deployment of applications. What is a virtual private cloud, VPC, and how do you use it to isolate resources in a cloud environment? A virtual private cloud, VPC, is a logically isolated section of a cloud provider's infrastructure that allows for customization and security. It can be used to isolate resources like compute instances and storage in a cloud environment. What is serverless computing and how do you implement it using cloud functions? Serverless computing is a cloud computing model where applications are broken down into smaller functions and deployed on cloud function services. 
AWS Lambda or Azure Functions can be used to implement serverless computing in a cloud environment. What is containerization and how do you use it to deploy applications in a cloud environment? Containerization is a process of packaging applications with their dependencies into a container. These containers can be easily deployed across different cloud environments using container orchestration tools like Kubernetes or Docker Swarm. How do you manage cloud networking, including virtual private networks, VPNs, and load balancers? Cloud networking can be managed using various tools provided by cloud service providers, such as Amazon VPC or Azure Virtual Network. Load balancers can be used to distribute traffic between multiple instances, while VPNs can be used to securely connect on-premises networks to cloud networks. How do you implement auto-scaling in a cloud environment, including using tools like Amazon EC2 auto-scaling or Azure auto-scale? Auto-scaling can be implemented by defining scaling policies that automatically adjust the number of instances based on traffic or resource usage. Tools like Amazon EC2 auto-scaling or Azure auto-scale can be used to automate the process of launching or terminating instances. What is a hybrid cloud and how do you use it to integrate on-premises and cloud resources? A hybrid cloud is a combination of on-premises and cloud resources that work together seamlessly. It can be used to take advantage of cloud scalability while still keeping sensitive data on-premises. Integration between on-premises and cloud resources can be achieved using tools like VPNs, ARPAS, or hybrid cloud management platforms. How do you implement cloud-based data analytics, including using tools like AWS Redshift or Azure Data Lake? Cloud-based data analytics can be implemented by ingesting data into a data lake or data warehouse, processing it using big data tools like Hadoop or Spark, and visualizing it using BI tools like Tableau or Power BI. Cloud service providers like AWS or Azure provide various data analytics tools like AWS Redshift or Azure Data Lake to help with these processes. How do you implement cloud-based machine learning and artificial intelligence, including using tools like AWS SageMaker or Azure Machine Learning? Cloud-based machine learning and AI can be implemented using tools like AWS SageMaker or Azure Machine Learning. These tools provide pre-built algorithms and frameworks to build, train, and deploy machine learning models in a cloud environment. Cloud-based machine learning also benefits from the scalability and flexibility of cloud infrastructure. How do you manage cloud security, including identity and access management, IAM, and network security? Cloud security can be managed through implementing best practices such as strong IAM policies, enforcing least privilege access, monitoring network activity, and using encryption for data at rest and in transit. How do you implement backup and disaster recovery in a cloud environment? Cloud backup and disaster recovery can be implemented by using tools such as AWS Backup, Azure Site Recovery, or Google Cloud Backup and Recovery. It's important to regularly test and validate backup and recovery procedures. How do you manage cloud costs, including using tools like AWS Cost Explorer or Azure Cost Management? Cloud costs can be managed by monitoring usage, right-sizing resources, using reserved instances, and using cost management tools like AWS Cost Explorer or Azure Cost Management. How do you troubleshoot common cloud issues, including network connectivity and application performance? Troubleshooting cloud issues can involve checking logs, monitoring network activity, and using tools like CloudWatch or Azure Monitor. It's important to have a good understanding of the cloud environment and its dependencies. What is the difference between a public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud? A public cloud is a cloud infrastructure provided by third-party providers, while a private cloud is dedicated to a single organization. 
A hybrid cloud is a mix of both public and private clouds with data and applications shared between them. How do you ensure data privacy in a cloud environment, including using encryption and data isolation techniques? Data privacy in a cloud environment can be ensured through the use of encryption techniques such as SSL, TLS, and data isolation techniques such as virtual private networks, VPNs, and firewalls. How do you ensure compliance with industry regulations like HIPAA or GDPR in a cloud environment? Compliance with industry regulations like HIPAA or GDPR in a cloud environment requires following specific guidelines and procedures, such as conducting regular security audits, implementing access controls, and ensuring that data is encrypted and protected during storage and transmission.